The sun rises over the Lubombu Mountains, which form the eastern border of Kruger National Park, one of the world's largest game reserves, ushering in another day for the park's numerous wildlife. But for a very special lioness, this cold morning in June 2014 was anything from ordinary. She belonged to the Shishangan Nega Lion Pride that roams the Singita concession area on the eastern boundary of Kuga Park. The Shishangan Pride was once led by seven majestic males, one of whom was Kiamham, the legend. Kiamham is Tsonga for old Grumpy, because he used to stroll around making growling sounds. The previous night, that particular lioness gave birth to three lion cubs, who were fathered by Kiamham and his coalition brothers. But as the light rose, it became clear that one of the newborn cubs was white. White lions are extremely rare in the wild and this newborn was the first white lion born in a long time. That last occurred decades ago when the white lions were born in the Timbavati Game Reserve to the west of Kruger Park. White lions are rare since the mating female and male must both carry a recessive gene termed leucism in order to create a white lion cup. The likelihood of both lines carry this gene is extremely low, which is why these pale colored lines with blue eyes are so unique. The guides refer to this newborn white cup as the white ghost of the Lubombu Mountains. And he was quickly given the name Kasper, the white lion of the Lubombu Mountains. Kasper grew up among eight other young male lions, born into the Shishangan pride the same time as him. These nine brothers forged a very special connection with one another and would later leave the pride together to begin their nomadic existence in pursuit of their own pride. <laughs> In 2018, the nine Shis brothers, as they were then known, began their nomadic journey north in a direction of an area near Satara Rest Camp in Kruger Park.
Later that year, they trespassed on the territory of the Nohotsu Self S90 Pride, which was led by three mean S37 males. This only meant trouble. Soon the Shish brothers' path collided with those of the much older Nohotsu Self males, and a bloodbath ensued. Four of the Shish brothers were killed in the ensuing conflict. <laughs> But the remaining five young males, including Kasper, escaped and headed south to a location near Matikitiki, just north of the Sweeney River. brothers spent the following two years there and were rarely seen. Then in late 2020, right after the COVID-19 lockdown, four of the Swiss brothers, including Kasper, began to relocate north and settled around Sitara Rest Camp in Kruger Park. The fifth brother was never seen again after disappearing during the lockdown time. The four Shish brothers, now six years old, and in their prime, had claimed the territory around Satara. The stunning lionesses of the Satara pride were theirs for the taking. The Satara pride might have been formed by a splinter group of the Nuanetsi pride, who is believed to be led by one of the original Sweeney males. <coughs> But when he became aware of the Swiss brothers' presence in the area, he decided to give up his pride and then flee. Where to? We don't know.
soon three cups were born, followed by three more and two more shortly after that. Within a few weeks the Satara Lionesses had eight cups, which were fathered by Kasper and the Shishangan brothers. Kasper is described as a gentle, bashful dreamer. When on patrol, Kasper would always follow from behind. And when the brothers roar to assert their control over the territory, Kasper roars the least, and not with the same dedication. When approaching a lioness in heat, Kasper appears to be quite shy and uncomfortable in her company, even when the lioness approaches him. Slaps from irritated lionesses created the majority of the scars on Kasper's face. Poor Kasper, the dreamer.
From that time, visitors to Satara and Kruger Park were treated to the nightly roaring of the brothers patrolling their territory to protect their pride and cups from trespassing lions. <laughs> Even during the day, tourists on game drives could see the Shishangan brothers hunting, mating, or simply relaxing on the road or in the shade of a nearby tree. Visitors from all over the world flocked to Satara in Kruger Park to witness this renowned coalition of Casper the White Lion and brothers. Since Kasper had become so well known, it seemed fitting to name his three brothers as well. Casanova was the one with the most mating sessions with the Sataro lionesses. We nicknamed the oldest one with the large main foot loose because of how easily he strolled while on patrol. The third one was named Mufuwetu, which means big brother, because he appeared to be the coalition leader at the time. A youthful sub-adult male also entered the scene. He was most likely a brother or a half-brother of the Satara lionesses. At first, he would only join the pride when the Shish brothers were not present. But it soon became clear that the brothers somewhat tolerate his presence. He has a branded marking on his rear upper thigh, done by researchers. Therefore, we named him Zorro. Sleeping Casper was surprised one morning in October 2021 when he was confronted by a herd of buffalo. He was on his own and attempted to flee, but during the stampede, one buffalo rammed into him and injured his right front leg. It was incredibly painful at first, and Casper could barely walk, but it eventually healed somewhat. But Casper has continued to hobble. During August 2022, the four Shish brothers decided to expand the territory and move west towards the Nisimani Dam. The Nisimani pride was then led by two renowned lines, the senior Mabiri and his coalition partner Rockvik, but both were elderly and nearing the end of their lives. The young, blonde, Nisimani male may have been Kasper and his brother's only threat, but they took the pride without conflict. During their three-month stay with the Nisimani pride, the four males had their occasional quarrel over mating rights. During one of these altercations, Kasper and Casanova both wanted to mate with the same Nisimani lioness but Kasper came in second after a brief scuffle. He did not appear to be in good shape. It would take weeks for him to recuperate and reclaim the chance to mate with an Insamani lioness. By the end of September 2022, Kasper had his chance and was seen mating with a lovely lioness from the new pride near Insamani Dam. Just as the Shishangan brothers had settled in with the Nisimani pride, two mean-looking lions emerged on the scene. The two Nakaya pan males 
had migrated north in search of a new pride. The Shish Palace wisely chose to temporarily quit the Nizamani Pride and return to the Satara Pride. Brothers tenure with the Nisimani Pride, life continued in the Satara Pride. At this stage, the three large Swedish Pride males made a quick visit to the Satara Pride territory before returning to their Pride on the Swedish Plains south of Satara. Satara Pride in early 2023, Kasper and his brothers discovered that only three of the mini cups that they had left behind with the Pride were still alive. What happened to the rest of the cups is unknown. However, it is believed that the young Satara male Zorro had enough time to kill some of the cups in order to mate with the lionesses. Back with the Satara Pride, the Shish brothers decided to spend more time protecting the lionesses and their remaining cubs and resume daily patrols of the area. Others returned to the Nizamani Pride and discovered that another two young males from the Nuhotsu Self S90 Pride, that's sons of the three S37 males, that killed four of Kasper's brothers in 2018, had joined the young blond Nizamani male near the Nizamani Dam, prompting the Shis brothers to leave and head back east to the Satara Pride once more. The blond Nisimani male and his coalition partners, the two young Nuhotsu self S90 males, also decided to leave the Nisimani area and relocate north to the region surrounding the S90 north of Satara Race Camp. The brothers were becoming old and started again to mate with the Satara lionesses while they were still in control of the pride.
The three Saktara female cubs were starting to reach adulthood and the pride now had at least nine females, a tempting target for neighboring nomadic lines. At this point, five Mayambula males were observed quite close to Satara, but they eventually settled for the Sweeney Pride after defeating the three Sweeney Pride males. Kasper and his siblings fathered three new cups for the Satara Pride in early December 2023. Until date, none of the cups born have been white, but we hope that in future a white cup will be born to secure Kasper's white genes. In January 2024, we spotted a line nest with only two cups moving up the 86 road to the east. We wondered where the third cup was. After going for about two kilometers with the two cups behind her, she observed that the cups were tiring and couldn't keep up. She then instructed them to wait for her under a bush near the road while she continued her search for a missing cup on her own. After another two kilometers, she came to a halt and started calling for a missing cup. It was wonderful to see the cup reunited with its mother. Then with its siblings and finally with Daddy Casper. Unfortunately, the joy was short-lived. Four weeks later, the cup was lost again. The mother walked for miles to the spot where the cup was last seen, but it was in vain. The cup was likely killed by a hyena or another predator. After four years of controlling the Satara pride, Kasper and his brothers had only five offspring. They are currently the three young lionesses and the two remaining cups a male and a female.
Since the fourth quarter of 2023, we've noticed that Mufuwetu, the coalition's dominating male, is losing his health. He had difficulty in walking, and his bone mass was deteriorating significantly. He spent the majority of time alone because he struggled to keep up with his brothers and the pride. He would occasionally reunite with his brothers or the pride to engage in the feasting after they had made a kill. His only chance of survival now is to stick with his brothers and the pride. The Shishangan brothers will be 10 years old in June 2024. A male lion's life expectancy in the wild is typically 13 years or less. By now, they are nearing the end of their reign over the Satara Pride. We had always hoped that the Satara Pride would grow into a mega pride under the Shish brothers, similar to the Shishangan Pride that was founded 10 years ago by the great Kiamam and his brothers. We can only speculate about the future of Kasper and his Shish brothers. They were extremely fortunate throughout their rule over the Satara pride, because there were no direct confrontations with other lines attempting to dethrone them as the Satara pride kings. At this stage, a potential takeover may come from the Mayambulas. or the six young Kumana males, fathered by Muluwati. Or the three young males, fathered by the old Hamilton's male, all from the south. Or 
the young Nuanetsi males from the east. Also a takeover could potentially come from the Nogotsu self S90 males, collaborating with the blonde young Nesamani male to the north. That would be ironic because the fathers of the young Nogotsu self S90 males were responsible for the death of the four Shishangan brothers in 2018. While I've been following the Shish brothers since the Tara Pride for years, they've earned a special place in my heart. It will be a sad day when Kasper and his brothers are forced to leave the pride or die from old age or injuries obtained during a pride takeover. But that is nature and a Satara pride urgently requires new blood and genes for future existence and maybe earn the status of a mega pride. To accomplish this, I would like to see old Muluwati's five sons begin their journey up north and take over the Satara pride following the departure of King Kasper and his brothers. As the sun sets to the west of the Kruger Park's pristine wilderness and the last rays of sunlight paint the sky, it will be just another night for the park's abundant species of animals. But maybe, just maybe, another lion cub will be born during the night and it could become a famous lion like Casper, the white ghost of the Lubombo Mountains.